Aries. Let's jump right in here. What we do is we look at different areas of your life to make it easier to understand. Firstly, we look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for your very sign of Aries before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, what comes in, maybe there's healing that needs to be highlighted. <coughs> before we lastly look at opportunities. Now opportunities, for the most part, are about what sustains you financially, but don't quote me on it. I only work here. Medium means the guy in the middle and whatever the guys or the guides feel to um, wanting to highlight, that's what, I'm, that's what I do. Anyway, so this month, instead of using any of my cards, I'm using my Galaxy Balls. Um, they're like crystal balls with resin in it, and that allows me to see um, galaxies, so it's related to astrology. Um, and I have two different ones. I have one with a, a dragon, and then one with dolphins. And that is important because the dragon one is actually connected to the element of water and to the color gold, which is a conduit a conductor. So whenever the guides, um, or whenever I feel drawn to, to, to these ones, um, you can tell by the way um, they work that this is uh, about your, your inner depth and your inner strength. So everything you hear, Hear this from within and and answer it with that voice that sits inside you. When you come to the dolphins, it's about your perception. It's about understanding that when I pick the dolphin once, it's about understanding that, you know, some people don't really know you, right? And um, you have more strengths than, than, than you realize, right? Um, and you probably do not take compliments well. <laughs> anyway, this is just an overall overall thing. In any case, um, Aries, I'm actually drawn to to the dolphins this morning or this whenever you watch this. And the first thing I would say to you in January 2023, it's literally um, what you okay. This is obviously advice. You take it or leave it. This is a this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, but what I'm seeing here is with regards to the overall energy, is to tick off the past. Right, this is a brand new year. Whatever you have carried over to 2023, January is the month to reflect on how much does it actually still serve me, and does it serve me at all? And if there are changes that need to be made. Do them calmly. Don't um, don't don't stress, right? Um, and even if you are in a situation that is really difficult, right? Sit back a little. You are the first sign. You Aries. You're the very first sign, which means you have problems sometimes asking for help. And what I'm getting here is if you just tick off what you have done and then gently look at what still needs to be changed, that's a much better way to do it, right? Also, as you can see here with the two dolphins. I don't know if you can see that. They're super friendly, but they can take on sharks. So don't hide behind your friendliness. Don't be this courteous person. If you are annoyed by something, make sure you make it known and then tick it off your list. So the point is here with your over energy for the month of January for the sign of Aries is it makes no sense to harbor grudges, to hold grudges, to hold anger, to hold regret. This is the month where you tick off what can go and let it go. Okay? With regards to your emotional core, let me just check what the cat is doing. Well, it's just playing. Here we go. In the background, you see Fidget uh, wrecking the table. It's what he likes to do. In any case, <laughs> When it comes to your emotional core, you have made a lot of progress, even though you may not always see it. So the way um, the galaxy shows herself here is that there is a, a binary system, which means there's a, a but, the, but the, the star, the, the second star in this binary system, and they orbit each other, is much smaller, which means you have made a lot of progress, but sometimes you carry it with you. Again, you heard that before here, Aries. You tend to take stuff and carry it with you for quite some time, which is unfortunately, in, in, in many ways, an Aries trait. The point the guides are making is look at how much 
progress you have made. And what I'm getting here is because there's two more little moons, I don't know the word, next to it. It is really important, Aries, to understand if you want to open up, 2023 is a good year to do that, right? As long as you realize that you have let stuff go, therefore you know what you no longer want, then therefore you can manifest what you really want much quicker. So see things from a higher point of view, elevate yourself a little, um, and um, focus on what you really want, okay? So with regards to uh, opportunities in the months of January for the sign of Aries, what you have here is that, how do I explain that? <laughs> there is a, so the, the dolphin here is in the water, right? And there is a, an air bubble right next to that dolphin. Obviously it's symbolism. What that really means is sometimes when you are trying to hide, you can hide for a long time. <laughs> so when, with regards to opportunities, when opportunities come to you, don't just take the first thing just because it feels good and it will probably solve a few, a few problems in the short run. Think about how do you really feel? Are you ready for a new adventure? Um, if you are self-employed, the other thing that I'm getting here is, yes, it's January. Everybody moans in January. It's a very long month. People spend a lot of money on Christmas. Um, so this is, for the most part, for a lot of people that are sort of self-employed, not the best month financially because people uh, don't necessarily invest in themselves. But because the dolphin here has a an air bubble right next to him, her, um, as the dolphin swims, um, it it doesn't affect you all that much. So don't be too worried. Um, don't bury yourself in the thought that life is ending and that everything is difficult. Because even if life is difficult, it won't stay that way forever. Life is cyclical. And you have been through so many difficulties in your lifetime. You could write a book about it, couldn't you? And what the guides are saying to you is really, really clear is, you can, number one, sit stuff out and you can wait a little. So with regards to opportunities, do yourself the favor and look at what you really want before you just take the first thing that comes along. Anyway, Aries, thank you so much for watching. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share. I'm having massive problems growing this channel because a lot of people are watching it. Um, I know that from my statistics, but um, a lot of people have not subscribed yet. And it does help my channel um, it, when you subscribe. Also, it allows you to, to, to never miss anything. In any case, guys, Aries, see you in February. Bye-bye.